Welcome to another episode of Guess the Test by Elevar, where you learn the data behind a conversion optimization experiment, the variance competing, and of course, the winning version and learning lessons. If you aren't familiar with Elevar, we help Shopify brands clean up their tracking and ensure 95% of conversions are delivered to their most critical marketing channels like Facebook and Google Analytics. So let's get into today's episode and guess the test. Alrighty, welcome back to another episode of Guess the Test. I'm here with Elevar's lead zero strategist, Kirby. Kirby, what are we testing today? And by the way, I need a softball. I'm on a five test losing streak. So take it easy on me with this <laughs> Try one. Try to get you back on track. Uh, so today we're gonna be running a test on the homepage. Uh, this is gonna be to all devices, um, all users. The KPIs here were um, PLP views, so essentially getting users to the next step in the funnel, add to cart rate, and then okay. just overall conversion rate. Okay. Homepage test, all visitors, all devices, primary KPI is getting people to the product yeah. listing page. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Let's. Let's hear the test. What's the control and the variance that we'll be looking at? Yeah, so uh, control is a really pretty standard homepage. Uh, we have kind of like a hero section, kind of like a, you know, about us or kind of a brand uh, building section, and then gets into uh, collection tiles and a product feed. And then further down on the page, more than 50% of the way down, there's a review feed. Um, so that's the element that we're gonna be testing so again, that's the control. And then in the variant, we're bringing that review feed up as the third block on the homepage. Um, so should, in theory, get a lot more visibility, um, should you know, get more impressions and, and have users just you know, interacting with it a lot more. Yep. Is the review feed, is it curated reviews? Is it a a widget from Yappo or Stamped or something similar to that? Yeah, so this particular client, um, they've just chosen four reviews that that speak really well in terms of kind of their unique value prop as a brand. So it's very curated. Okay, so curated. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. So pretty easy test, yep. J basically just an ordering test. Okay. Yep. Anything else I need to know? Any, uh, any specific event data? So was there a high usage or a high conversion rate for people interacting with that reviews widget on the control? Yeah, so it's a little bit um, kind of backing into the, the idea, but we saw a really strong conversion rate for users who interact with the review feed on the product page. Uh, so that's a much more versus like just a visibility event. This was users who are actually clicking yeah. down into the, um, the review section on the product page. Uh, so about a 4.6% yeah. conversion rate, which you know, for this store was, you know, really high compared to the aggregate. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And if you are watching this and you have not tagged your site with the LOVR Chrome extension, that's how you can get this granular event data set up on your own store to help drive some of these ideas. All right. So is it time for me to yeah. guess? Let's see if you can, the see if you can get back on track. <laughs> All right. Seems like an easy one. I'm going reviews higher. That's the winner. And I'll say it wasn't a huge winner. I don't know, three to 5% increase. Actually, no PLP views. This, I'm going to go greater than 10% increase over the control for the primary KPI of getting people to the product listing page. Right. You're smiling <laughs> like I have another loss coming. Yeah. So what, yeah, give me the bad yeah, news. So this one is one of those tests that kind of disproves your hypothesis. Um, so we actually saw the control perform better across all metrics here. Um, so we saw a pretty negligible change in terms of PLP visits. Uh, it was slightly lower for the variant, but not really statistically significant. Uh, however, with revenue per visitor and just overall conversion rate, we saw about a 3% dip uh, with a 94% stat sig. So bottom funnel metrics, um, pretty significantly, um, you know, better for the control versus the variant. Yeah. Why? What, what's your, how do you explain that? Yeah. So like I said, this particular review feed was curated. Um, so I, I think there's a, a possibility that it was a little bit, 
um, like static or stale and didn't didn't really feel like mm -hmm. these were actual users that were leaving reviews. Uh, so that's one thought that we had is maybe would it be worth replacing this kind of like very curated review feed with an actual review feed that shows, you know, maybe who the user was yeah. when they purchased, um, you know, what the recency was, things like that. So that's one idea. Um, yeah. The other piece we, we actually saw um, kind of post analysis, we looked at the review event, even on the product page and saw month over month, a pretty significant decrease in conversion rate for that event. And part of the thought there is their aggregate review, um, like star ranking has gone down. They, they ran a sale, had some issues with like logistics and shipping and that kind of caused the spike in negative reviews. So that was another hypothesis that they kind of brought to the table was potentially, you know, reviews overall just aren't performing as well. Yeah. Interesting. A lot of, I think a lot of change coming this year with reviews, especially with some of the lawsuits and yeah. le legislation coming out that you can't, you can't remove negative mm -hmm. reviews anymore. So potentially some, some more changes and more testing happening across the board with our reviews the same as they were five yeah. to 10 years ago. Do users trust? Reviews. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. So yeah, interesting tests, but that's, that's why we test it. So. All right. Well, Another <laughs> loss. I'm just I'm just racking up the losses to make <laughs> yeah. you look good, Kirby. So <laughs> I appreciate it. All right, that's yeah. it for this one. See you on the next next episode. You.